I'm Anil Kumar and here is another application question on vectors. So we are doing dot product and cross product applications. The question is determine a unit vector that is perpendicular to both the vectors. You can pause the video, copy the question, solve and then check with my solution. So let's look into this question in further details. The question here is determine a unit vector that is perpendicular to vector a which is 3 minus 2 7 and b which is 2 minus 1 2 so perpendicular means you are looking for cross product right so we will find cross product of a and b right so let us do a cross b so which is uh, we can use our method of matrix i j k you can follow the method which you have learned at school right so these there are different ways where everybody is doing cross product I prefer this particular method. So we have 2 minus 1 and 2. So that gives me i as minus 2 times 2 which is minus 4 minus of 7 which is plus 7 minus j. So 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2 times 7 which is 14 plus k which is 3 times minus 1 as minus 3 minus 2 times 2 which is minus 4 that makes it plus right so now you could write this as i and the number here is 3 3 i minus j which is minus of uh, 8 so we get minus 8 here uh, plus k times 1 right so we could write this as 3 i plus 8j plus k right so so that is the vector and in this form we could write this vector as 3 8 and 1 now you need a unit vector so how do you get a unit vector of this right so let us say this vector is c for us right so so to get the unit vector c we have to divide the vector by its magnitude right so divide this by magnitude so we have the vector 3, 8, 1, right? And divided by the magnitude, so it is 3 square, which is 9, plus 8 square, which is 64, plus 1, right? So that is what you get. So it is vector 3, 8, 1, divided by 10 square root of 74, right? So, so that is how you can get the answer for this particular question, right? We could write this as, uh, we could write our answer here as 3 over square root of 74 right 8 over square root of 74 and 1 over square root of 74 right so remember to get unit vector you need to divide by the magnitude of the vector that is how you get unit vector i hope that helps thank you and all the best